Welcome back to another edition of Myth Badger videos. This time around we're going to build a crank and slider gear. Now this can be a fun one to watch in action and I think once you see it you might notice resemblance to a traditional form of transportation back in the Old West. So let's go ahead and take a look at the parts. We've got our platform of course and then I've got this long rail. This is um, this is a roughly about a foot long rail and uh, what makes this one a little different from some of the other metal pieces is you'll notice that on the inside these two sides actually come in at an angle here so this is in the particular rail you want there's some other pieces where this is going to be flat instead of um, coming in so make sure you grab the right one uh, to go with that I'm going to have this piece uh, four holes it is a slide truck it's actually designed to fit on the rail much like this and then it slides back and forth the um, to attach to this truck is going to be this thin metal bar now these come longer than what you see here but I've cut it down here I've got actually a 13 hole um, metal bar here you can use a full-size one it really isn't that big a deal but if you want this to look a little cleaner you can cut these down I've got a ton of them which is why some of them get cut down as needed the other end is going to be attached to a cam, much like the cam from our cam and, pop, cam and follower. Now, to attach the cam, I'm going to have a 4-inch drive shaft. And because of the drive shafts, I'm going to need to use two 3-hole spacers. And I've got the rivets to go with it. Um, I'm also going to use um, some uh, locking collars to, to lock everything down. Now, I've got two of these spacers. I've got a thin one and I've got a thicker one and that's going to be important to help keep everything from moving around a bit. To attach the rail to the platform, I'm going to use two one-inch uh, standoffs, and I've got four small bolts to attach those standoffs with. Now, I've got one other piece here, actually two other things. I've got one additional bolt, um, and that additional bolt is to help attach the metal bar to the slide truck. And then I need one longer bolt and a kept knot to go with it. Um, this one's a three-quarter inch, and this is what I'm going to use to attach, attach the bar to the cam itself. So let's go ahead and get started with attaching everything. Um, I'm going to attach this using standoffs, so I'm going to go ahead and attach one of these at one end. And I'm going to put the standoff on the inside. I do not want it on the outside. And then I'm going to kind of look... And lining this up, if I put it about right here, I'm going to get another standoff right about here. So let's go ahead and um, attach another standoff. And then what I can do is attach this to my platform. Now, when I do this, what I'm going to end up doing is um, I'm going to attach this. And when I attach it, I'm going to run my... Um, hex wrench or my L key through the metal so that way I can get straight on there and I can just tighten this thing on. And let's go ahead and get my other one. I made one small mistake. Um, let's take this off. Um, when I attach this, I attached it one hole too low. So I'm just going to take this bolt off and I'm going to move it up one hole. And we'll do it there. Okay, so let's reattach that. I realized that when I put it on the original one, the spot where this connects, it happens to be um, the same spot that one of my standoffs for the platform is at. So it would have ran into the bolt at the other side of this standoff. Uh, so that kind of makes a problem. I can't really attach it if I do that. So let's go ahead and get this um, bolt into place. And one more hole. We'll do this. And there we go. Now my rail is attached. Okay. So the rail is attached as you see here. So now let's get this cam in place. Now the, putting the cam in place, I'm going to set the cam about right here. So I need a three hole spacer. Now unlike in previous examples that I've shown, 
I'm actually not going to place this um, spacer on the inside gap. I'm going to place it out here because I'm actually going to use it as a spacer this time around instead of just as a piece to increase stability, which means I need another one over here. Now, if I put this up here, what's going to happen is there's not enough space. So this hole, this center hole where I drive the axle, if I actually put it there, you can hear it. Uh, when I run this through, um, it doesn't line up very well. And this is what happens when you start turning the handle. It's kind of jerky and, and uh, noisy. So I'm going to place this one on the inside. Um, and then that will make sure everything lines up just right so um, we get a smooth turning of that axle. Okay. Now, I'm going to drive this um, axle through from the back side. I'm going to put one spacer on the inside, or one of my locking collars on the inside. Remember, I won't be able to place it underneath this lip. It just won't fit. So I'm going to place that there. I'm going to do another locking collar here. Then I'm going to use my thin spacer. And then I can attach my cam. So when I attach the cam, we can see it just barely clears that bottom there. So um, we're, we're good to go. And I'm going to shove the axle through just enough. And let's use something there for a little bit. You'll notice that it was a little tight getting that in there. That's great. That's actually what we want. And the reason why is um, because it's so tight there, I really don't need to use another locking collar on the outside. So that's why I'm not worried about putting one here because this is going to stay on. It's going to take a lot of force to pull that off. Now, could I go ahead and do that? Absolutely. There's nothing preventing me. I just didn't do it this time. Okay, so next, I'm going to need to attach the rail truck to the rail itself. But before I do that, I've got to, I could just slide this on, but I've got to attach this to the rail truck. And I can't really um, do that as easily. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a small bolt here, thread it through one end of this bar, and then I'm going to attach it. Now, you will find that the holes for the rail truck, um, especially brand new ones, um, are a little tight fitted for these bolts. So um, once you've used it a couple times, it'll loosen just a tad. Because I'm using a small one, I don't need a cap nut here. It's still tight enough that it holds in place. Um, and we don't want one because otherwise it's going to run into the head from these standoff bolts, which kind of creates a problem. So we're just going to go ahead and slide this into place. And there we go. We're good to go. Now, the last piece that I'm going to need is I need to attach this to the cam itself. Now, to do that, and I dropped one of my pieces, I'm going to use this larger spacer. And the larger spacer is going to go in between. So let's take my three-quarter inch bolt, and I'm going to place the spacer here. And then if I'm looking, I'm going to find a spot about right here. I'm actually going to use that hole right there. So what I'm going to do is attach the bolt through that hole, and then I'm going to use my cap nut to hold everything in place. So once that's done, let's um, hold the cap nut and tighten this bolt down. Okay, there we go. Now I can attach my handle. And we have a crank and slider. Now I mentioned at the beginning that this might look like a traditional form of transportation from the Old West. Any ideas what you think that is going to be? If you notice that this kind of looks like um, the bar that goes across the wheels from an old-fashioned locomotive, you would be correct. Now you'll notice one other thing. You'll notice that as I turn this, what's happening is this is actually loosening up. Um, so I'm going to have to keep this tightened down a bit. If possible, the other thing I could do is I could use one of my uh, Loctite nuts 
and then that way it's not going to loosen up as much. So just something else to consider that I could do when building this device. So thank you for watching. Feel free to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of our tutorials here at Myth Badger Videos.